What's more painful, a punch in the nose or a venomous ant sting? We can figure it out with the help of a dole. Dole is a unit of measurement of pain, from the Latin word dolor, meaning pain. This measure was suggested by doctors from Cornell University back in 1940. The researchers inflicted pain upon medical students and pregnant women by applying heat of varying intensities to their bodies and recorded their reactions. But as pain is highly subjective, the dole didn't become known internationally and never found its way into common use. However, the doctor's work and the test subject's sufferings shouldn't be in vain. Though the resulting system is imperfect, it gives an overview of the intensity of pain of a diverse nature, so I suggest using it. What about playing the Would You Rather game and finding out how resilient you are? In this video, you'll also find out, can money make up for suffering? And what's the most painful thing a human being can endure? The rules of the game are simple. I suggest two situations with the presence of pain as a necessary condition. You choose the one you think is reasonable and less painful. Let's see who will make it to the end of the video. Would you rather be a tennis star with a frozen shoulder or suffer from gout with a million dollars in your pocket? By choosing the first option, you're condemning yourself to adhesive capsulitis. It starts as a nagging, localized pain right where the humerus and the shoulder blade meet. It doesn't matter whether you move your arm or your shoulder. It doesn't matter whether you're lying or standing. The pain will get worse, especially during sleep. This misfortune may be followed by insomnia. Perhaps letters and fruit baskets from your fans will help you through the acute period of capsulitis. But after the acute pain, you'll feel stiff. The joint will become so tight and rigid that you won't be able to perform simple movements. And most importantly, you'll no longer be able to play tennis. Your shoulder will remain riveted to your shoulder blade. Thus, a longing for a busted-up career will be added to the physical pain you experienced. The second option is not much better. Gout is an awful and excruciating pain that results from the slow destruction of the joints. Due to kidney failure, overeating, and heavy drinking, uric acid will accumulate in your blood. Then the accumulated acid crystals will be deposited in organs and tissues and will gradually destroy them. You'll start experiencing recurrent attacks. They'll become increasingly frequent. During an attack, the simple contact of your finger with a bed sheet will make you feel like the joint is on fire and it's unclear how long the attack will last. It can last until the evening or for 10 days. The saddest thing is that gout isn't completely curable and no amount of money will be able to help. You can only reduce the number of attacks. To that end, you'll have to go on a strict diet, exclude alcohol, coffee, tea, and other hedonic pleasures. So you really won't have much fun spending your million bucks. But which is actually worse? The frozen shoulder pain intensity is 23 dole. And in the case of gout, the pain intensity is 30 dole. For reference, punching a wall is only 8 dole. But will anything change if the pain isn't pointless? So would you rather suffer from cluster headaches for one month, but receive immortality after that? or feel the pain of an Achilles tendon rupture twice a week, but rid the world of firearms forever. Option two means you're a real titan. The Achilles tendon is the strongest and largest tendon in the human body. It allows you to flex your foot, jump, and run. When you run, the Achilles tendon undergoes a force equal to eight times the weight of your body. Can you imagine the sound of it rupturing? At that moment, it feels like being shot in the foot. And so it will be, twice a week, forever. forever.
You'll be horrified waiting for that moment, and then you won't be able to move your foot. Looking for your friend's sympathy and telling them you feel like you're being shot in the foot, you will never be understood. No one else in the world would know what a gunshot wound feels like because you rid the world of guns. Now, two months of headache seems like a blessing compared to the gunshot in the foot. But cluster headaches are worse than the worst migraines. It's a result of a serious neurological disorder. Pain will occur as a group of spasms. They're typically felt on one side of the head around the eye, and they'll occur in cyclical patterns for a period of 6 to 12 weeks. You'll feel like a red-hot poker's going through your eye, and it'll most commonly occur right after you finally fall asleep. You won't be able to endure the pain. You might want to die, because the cluster headache is also known as the suicide headache. And if you manage to survive it, you'll go insane, because your reward is immortality, and nobody promised the pain would never occur again. So, cluster headaches are 39 dole, and Achilles tendon rupture is 37 dole. The headaches prove to be more painful. I'd add another 10 dole for the terrible psychological suffering they cause. But then the value would exceed 45 dole, and that's the maximum pain level a person can endure and still remain conscious. And then there's shock, loss of consciousness, or coma. The pain is getting unimaginable. The only kind of pain exceeding the limit of 45 dole that a person feels from the first to the last minute and can be perfectly described in detail is childbirth. But what do you think is more painful? The pain during childbirth or a crocodile bite? Some women describe their childbirth experiences as being like multiple stabs in the stomach. For some, it feels like having your muscles twisted inside like ropes, as if somebody keeps reaching up deep inside you, grabbing hold of your internal organs and trying to yank them out. But no one can describe a crocodile bite. That's because people simply don't survive such encounters. However, using equipment, scientists determined that the river crocodile bite force reaches 34,250 Newton. This is the lower limit of the bite force estimates for the T-Rex. How many dole is it? 55. Well, the pain during childbirth is 57 dole. Childbirth is more painful. In addition, a crocodile attack lasts just a few moments, unlike childbirth. And most often, death eases the pain of getting bitten. Speaking of death, if you knew you were about to die anyway, which would you choose? An 11 dole pain, but your mom will never be proud of you. Or a 70 dole pain and worldwide recognition. An 11 dole pain is that experienced by old prisoners sentenced to death. It's the pain of lethal injection that's comprised of a poisonous chemical solution. Often, to ease the suffering, injections are given with painkillers. The sentenced person feels practically nothing. But a 70 dole pain, or even more, is experienced by a person who burns to death. A person who burns to death experiences the most excruciating sensations in the beginning, while the fire is affecting the nerves, one by one. After that, you don't feel any pain. Interestingly, a person dies not from the burns, but from asphyxiation as their lungs stop functioning. Joan of Arc experienced that pain for which she was recognized as a saint. If you chose this option, you're a real hero. Or you might be totally insane, because being burnt to death is the most painful thing a human can experience. According to the Dolorometer, that is. Well, if your choice matches the one on screen, you made it to the super final. It falls upon you to answer a question of global concern for centuries. What's more painful? To scrape your elbow from a fall on the pavement or to jam your little toe on the corner of your bed? Write your answers in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.